Hello, people of the internet. My name is Nick from Mercy and Magic, and today I'm going to bring you a deck profile on Domain Monarchs. This is the deck I'm playing at my local Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, and this is the deck that I'm winning Yu-Gi-Oh! Day with. That's right, you heard me right here, right now. I am winning Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. I don't care who shows up. Eric Christensen could walk into that shop, and I will kick his ass. So, let's run through this deck profile. Three Eighth of the Heavenly Monarch. Uh, best card in the whole deck. I like Erebus more, but she is objectively better. She can tribute someone on your opponent's turn with Stormforth. It creates so many nutty plays and so many combos that you have to play three of this bitch. Three Erebus. Spin your opponent's shit. It can also hit graveyards, so if you're up against a deck like Infernoids, you can hit the stuff in their graveyard. Three Kraz. I couldn't I don't have a Mega Thestalos, so if I do get a Mega Thestalos, I'm going to cut Kraz to two and put in the Mega Thest. Then I played one Caius. I got this from Edception when he topped Nats. God damn it. Hold on. I gotta fix this. This card's annoying. The corner just annoys me. There we go. Uh, yeah, so the point of this card is Escalation. But it is a very easy side out, so it's kind of there too. So you can easily side it out. Ten Monarchs. Uh, three Squire. Three Edia. Two Eidos and a Mithra. The reason I do this is because this... Um, Mithra can let you double Erebus your opponent turn one so you can get two cards out of their hand. And then, when Edia goes into Eidos, you can banish it, summon Edia. Edia summons Mithra, and then you get two tribute summons. So, like, you can summon a Karaz, pot two cards, and then still have Karaz to be tribute summoned for Aether. So, that's really good. Three Pantheism. Best card in the deck. Three Tenacity. Reveal a Monarch to Search. Really good. Best spell in the deck. Stormforth. Three Domain, obviously. This Domain Monarchs. You need it to lock your opponent. Two Return. I couldn't find a third common, so I'm only playing two. And plus, you can easily trick your opponent into giving you Return. One Frost Blast to blow up your opponent's back row. That is it for Monarch Spell and Traps. One Trade In. I'm going to cut this for the third return if I can find mine in time. Uh, one Upshot Goblin, and then one Rota, one One for One, one Foolish Burial. This card is unbricked so many of my hands, it's unbelievable. Like, you can just send Erebus, or if you already have Erebus in the graveyard, send the Monarch you want, or send Edia to get back a Banished Monarch Spell Trap. Then three Prime. I play three because I, uh, I want two in the graveyard and one in my main deck, so that I can not deck myself. And then one Escalation, so you contribute some Chaos on your opponent's turn. That is it for the main deck, 40 cards. Let's do that kind of fast. Uh, most people know what Monarchs do already. I think I have a split sleeve. Hold on. One of these is split. I felt it. Guess not. Guess I'm just going crazy. Sorry, guys. It's the dog. It's being annoying. No extra deck, side deck. Uh, two effect Valor for the mirror match for rogue decks like Yosenju and Satella Knight where you can just Valor their first play and they kind of have to stop. Uh, with the mirror, you can hit Edia, you can hit Eidos, you can hit a Monarch. Uh, it's just really good in the mirror. And it's a one-for-one -one target if you brick. So like you can summon it out of your deck, normal summon an Eidos, and then keep your plays going. Uh, two Lancia, mirror match, and Cosmo. And also just rogue decks that like to banish like Infernoid and stuff where... If they activate, like, a Reasoning, you can chain this, and then they can't really do anything for that turn. Two Flying Sea for Burning Abyss, Phantom Knight, any XC deck. You can just side this in, ruin their day. Landrobe is for BA and the Mirror Match, because you can put the Fog King, your opponent's going to side in face down. Also, Valor is good against Fog King. Two Dark Hole, Cosmo, uh, and, like, Rogue decks. Uh, side Regeki. I only side this in in, like, the Mirror. That way I can clear my opponent's board and go for game. Uh, 3 MST. I side at least two of these in every game because your opponent might have Master Restrict. And even if they don't, you can hit like annoying spells and traps. Then 2 Grand Horn for the Pendulum Summons. Uh, I know Domain locks them out of the extra deck, but sometimes they have the Twin Twister for your Domain. And like a return. That way when they Pendulum Summon, you can just flip the Grand Horn. And that way they stop their plays. And you don't care that they draw a card. You're Monarchs. You have more card advantage than they do. So that is it for the Domain Monarch deck profile. 
Uh, I'm gonna go to Yu-Gi-Oh Day and I'm gonna win. Again, I don't care who shows up. They're gonna they're gonna go down. So that's it. Uh, my name is Nick from Mercy Magic. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.